These are snapshots from Tucson, Arizona, which over the past week had more than 11,000 apprehensions of illegal migrants, according to the border chief there. That increase happening in part due to a sharp drop in those entering along the Texas border, as state officials there have continued to use razor wire and other barriers to make it far more difficult, violating orders from the federal government. And I said, I will not allow this Texas land to be used by the Biden administration to violate American laws. The former head of U.S. Border Patrol slamming both Governor Abbott for not working with the federal government, but also expressing frustration from his time serving under President Joe Biden. I've never had one conversation with the president or the vice president for that matter. And so I was the chief of the Border Patrol. I commanded 21,000 people. That's a problem. Most major policy changes occurred during President Biden's first few months in office, including multiple executive actions on the very first day, like ending the national emergency at the border, freezing removal actions for most migrants for 100 days, and suspending what was known as the Remain in Mexico program. A couple months later, he appointed Vice President Harris as his border czar to address the root causes of the problem. We did reach out to the White House for a progress report and have not yet heard back. This group of National Guard troops from Tennessee headed to the southern border on a voluntary mission to help. It's not just a Texas problem, it's, it's a Tennessee problem as well. The majority of those coming, though, doing so for a better life in America, with many allowed to stay and wait for their asylum cases to be heard. As Biden administration officials insist, many others are being deported. Over the last three years, we've removed, returned, or expelled more people than in all four years of the prior administration. You know, the facts matter. How those facts are interpreted already playing a major role in this year's presidential race. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.